Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a brand new Miraculous Ladybug activity book. So this one is from South Korea, so everything in it is Korean, but I think we can figure it out. So here's the fun, it is super glossy and so pretty. Look at this, we have Miraculous Ladybug, we have Cat Noir, and we also have Tiki and Plague. Here in the back we have a little preview of some of the pages inside this activity book. Let me just show you a few pages and then we'll work through it. So this first few pages are um, stickers. So these stickers go with the different activity pages. And there looks like there's going to be a lot of stickers. So look at that. <laughs> and here's the first page of the activity. And here's the inside. Just to show you real quick what is going to go on here. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so let's get started and work through this book. So the first thing I want to do is actually remove the sticker pages. This will help us remove the stickers a little bit faster. All right, so here's the first page and they are outside the school. So we have Marinette here and we have Tiki here. So let's put her sticker down. And of course, we have our best friend, Nadia. There we go. Over here on the other page, we have Chloe. And of course, we have Adrian and we have Plague. There we go. This page is done. Next page here we have Ladybug fighting somebody. And I think this one is going to be the Bubbler, who is the transformed version of Nino. Down here, this looks like it's going to be Hawk Moth and the Pharaoh. So let's start with Hawk Moth. Although I've actually never seen him outside before, so. <laughs> and here is the Pharaoh. Okay, pointing at Cat Noir. Alright, on this page, I couldn't read the Korean, but I did do a Google Translate, and I think it says to count the number of people in each picture and draw a line. So let's do this. We have one, two, three, three people in this picture. We have one, two, three, four, four here, one, two, and down here, one, two, three, four, five five people in this picture. On this page, I think we're supposed to complete the album. So we got some extra spaces here for pictures. And here are the ones that we can use. So we have these four here and these two down here. So let's start with the vertical ones because we have a few, one of these. So this one goes here. This one with his best friend. This picture. And I'm not really sure if I like this picture with her album, but <laughs> since they're classmates, we'll put that one here. And here is one of Ladybug. another one here. It's super cute. All right, on this page we have a maze. So we're going to go from Marinette down to Ladybug. Let's see.
Yay, we did it. <laughs> And here on this page, we are going to put the stickers to complete the picture. So we have this heart sticker. Oh my gosh, don't they look cute like this? <laughs> what a cute pose! The one down here of the desk. And we have one up here to complete the window. Alright, on this page we have more math. So we need to count the numbers here and then we need to complete to match. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and Adrian has 1, 2, 3, 4. So Marinette is going to need 3 pencils to complete the set. Two and three. All right, tambourines are one, two, three, four, five. Alia has two, and so Chloe needs three. Here's one. Here's two. And here's three. And down here, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there is one, two, three, four. So that means Nino needs five one two three four and five so this page is really interesting each of them are thinking of a special cake and so since I can't read Korean, I'm going to be using my phone. So I am going to use my phone to kind of figure out what it's trying to say. And so this one, it says, My cake writes Halloween day. Adrian says, Candy and chocolate. Very good. Let's see. Nino says, Blueberry uh, body. It's full of blueberry body. And Alia says, Strawberry fresh cream is very refreshing. So I think these cakes here, this candy and chocolate, belongs to Adrian. This Halloween one belongs to Marinette. This strawberries and cream one belongs to Alia. And Nina's cake is going to be this little berries one. <laughs> How fun was that? Alright, next page. So we have a puzzle. So here are the shapes. We need to match it up with the shadow. So this one's easy. I think this one goes to here. And this one, I think, matches up with this one. This one goes with this one. And this last one goes down here. Alright, next page. So on this page, we show the transformed version of Marinette and Adrian. So Marinette here transforms into Ladybug, of course. And Adrian here is going to become Cat Noir. This next one is going to be lots of fun. This one is Find the Pairs. So we have this one. Is it same as that one? These two are the same. These two are the same. This one is matched with that one. Are the same. Put that one. Down here, and these two go together. Mm -hmm. 
and those two to go together. Did we get everybody? I think we did. Oh, I think this one is just an open page for you to put in the stickers. So we have the stickers right here. We have Marinette, we have Chloe, we have Adrian, and we have Nina and Adia. So let's put them on the page. It's going to stand right here. Adrian is going to be over here. I think Marinette should stand here, Adrian, and also her dad. And over here we'll put Chloe. be over here. And of course we gotta put Tiki and Black. Alright, I think this one is a find the pattern one. So we have Ladybug, Tiki, Cat Noir, Black, Ladybug, Bug, Tiki, Cat Noir, Flag, Ladybug, Tiki, Cat Noir, Flag, and Ladybug, Tiki, Cat Noir, Flag, Ladybug, Tiki, Cat Noir, Flag, and we're here! <laughs> Wasn't that fun? We need to figure out what shape this will form. So I think this one, when you open it up, will form a circle in the middle. I think this one, when you open it up, will have four hearts. And I think this one will have little corners cut off. And on this page, this is interesting, we're supposed to place the characters from the tallest to the shortest. So it looks like, let's see, I know she is the shortest. And I think Hawk Moth is the tallest. So we'll put him first. Next, I think, is the pharaoh. After that is going to be Mr. Pigeon. And the shortest one of all is going to be Stormy Weather. On this page, we are given a bunch of stars. And we're going to use these stars to decorate. All right, isn't this pretty? All right, let's go to this page and we're going to complete the puzzle. Oh, look at this. So pretty. Hmm. 
And here we go. Looking super cute. Alright, so let's go ahead and follow with Ladybug here. She's coming down here. I guess this is where we put the bubbler. Okay, let's follow Cat and Horse path. Oh, and here is Lady Wi-Fi. Alright, on this page we have a spot the difference. So let's take a look. So right away I see that this bolt is not on this side. We have a missing flower. His elbow is in a different position. And well, his entire body is in a different position, so <laughs> I guess Asians is in a different position. The backpack is missing on the other picture. The boxes are also missing on this picture. And this chair has an extra flower. And her room has an extra bean up here. I think that's it. Alright, next page. So these are the opposites. So here we have a circle with green on top, and it's now green on the bottom. This one is a one, two, three, four, five, six, six pointed star. And I think this one is the opposite. And over here we have this one. I think this one is the opposite. Alright, next one. Okay, so how many sets of these cakes can we count? So let's count. For these cakes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For the cakes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And for the macaroons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. eight. So it is 8. We have 8 sets. So I'm not too sure about this page, but I think we just put the notes in the same spot. So we make, here's a C, and we have a C, here's a D, and we have a D, here's an E, an E, and an F. an A. I'll put another A. I'll put another B. And we have a C. So we put another C. On this page, I think we're supposed to put a red heart on the pink envelopes and a crown on the blue envelopes. So here's another blue one, and another blue one, one more blue one, let's do a few pink ones, here's a pink, here's another pink, one more pink, and the last one is blue, so I can put a crown. Alright, so I used some translation to figure out what it says up here. It seems like if it's a pink plate, you put meat on it. If it's a blue plate, you put a bakery item. And if it's a green plate, you put a fruit. So we have a few items here. So we have an apple, which is a fruit, which should go on 
a green plate. And we have a banana, which is also a fruit and should go on a green plate. We have a blue plate, which should contain a bakery item. There we go. Another bakery item for Adrian. And for the pink ones, it's supposed to be meat. So I think here is like a hamburger or a meatloaf. And also for her, she gets a turkey. Alright, and looking at my translation here, this one says toys, bakery, stationery, and books. So let's see. We have a stationery. Bakery item. We have a bookstore item. And this one's a toy. And we have one more crayons, which I think it's a stationary item. <laughs> so that was fun. Alright, and the last page. Oh, here are all the answers. So I think we got everything right. Alright everyone, so that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this activity book. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!